Okay, Brian Harlow here with another video. Um, how to make your own Bible tract. So, since I've been saved, I've tried to make several tracts, and they've always seemed to end up being too big because I try and put way too much scripture into them. And they end up being like a full sheet of paper. <laughs> and it's kind of tough to hand out a full sheet of paper as a tract to somebody. So, uh, one of my favorite places to put out tracks is in the credit card slot at a gas pump where you get your, where you get your gas at. <clears throat> and so, I wanted to make a track that's about the size of a credit card. So I have this old, uh, came with a wallet I bought, it's a, the same size as a credit card, it's an information card. So as you can see, I tried to make my track uh, the same size as, uh, as this card. And so I've put a couple of these out already, and they do fit real nice right in the uh, uh, in the slot there for a credit card, where the credit card goes. So anyways, if you're curious, um, I'm going to show you in this video how you can make this tract using um, some free software. If you don't have a word processor on your computer, uh, all you really need is a printer. Um, so... Here's the tract itself. If anybody has any comments on the tract or any advice on anything I should change, you can feel free to leave a comment. Uh, but here's the tract. Um, it says, Are you prepared to meet God in judgment? I give Hebrews 9.27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. And then down here, I kind of stole this idea from uh, Brian Denlinger. He has a video on some tracks, an older video. And he listed on the front of one of his door hanging tracks uh, that it's not from the Jehovah's Witnesses or the Mormons. And I listed on here that it's this is not trying to get you to join a local church. So if you open the tract, as you can see, it's just got pages like a little booklet. But uh, if we go to the first page here, it says, Although most people do not like to think about it, you are going to die one day. Have you ever wondered what is going to happen to you when that happens? If I asked you, would you go to heaven if you died right now, what would you say? Most people would say they would go to heaven because they are a good person. But what does the Bible say? And I give uh, Romans 3.10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. In Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And on the next page here, um, I say, In the Old Testament, God gave us the Ten Commandments to show us that we are sinners. And if you've ever told a lie or cheated or stole something, then you have sinned against God. Psalm 1, 5 through 6 says, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And I say, if you want to stand before God someday and tell him what a great person you are, that is your choice, but that would never work for me. So who is Jesus Christ? 1 Timothy 3.16, the first part of the verse says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Um, John 14.6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. 1 John 5.20, and we know that the Son of God has come, and hath given us an understanding, that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Um, so somebody might ask, so how do I get saved? First you must realize and admit that you have sinned against God. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. That's Isaiah 59, verse 2. Next, you must be born again. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verse 3. And you can only be born again by trusting the gospel by faith. What is the gospel? Then I've got 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 here. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. 
For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And over here I say, If you know that you are a sinner, and you believe that Jesus Christ shed his blood and died on the cross for you, then pray to God and ask him to save you. Romans 10.9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And then I give a verse here about uh, how you're a new creature here, Second Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. And the back of the tract is uh, just kind of some information. I say, uh, all scripture quotations are from the King James Bible. Do not read any other version than the King James Bible. All modern versions, NIV, NKJV, NASB, ESV, etc., have been corrupted by the Roman Catholic Church and the Vatican. The intent of this Bible tract is to see you get saved, but at the very least, it is my hope that you will at least pick up a Bible and read it for yourself. Read the book of Romans with an open mind. And then I end it with Revelation 20, verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So that's the tract. Um, I just like this kind of concept here. It's more of like a little book form. Um, so if you're interested in how I made this, um, just keep watching and I will show you on my computer how I made this. Here's how I made the Bible tract. If you don't have this, um, I don't have Microsoft Word on my computer, um, so I downloaded this free software called OpenOffice. Um, if you just go to, if you don't have any type of Word document, uh, Word processor, uh, just go to the internet and just Google OpenOffice, and it's called Apache OpenOffice, and you can download it for free. And uh, once you've downloaded that, you can open it. <clears throat> and just select text document and you get this here so if you want to make the track exactly like I did just follow these steps so first we're going to go to um, format page and we're going to change this from um, portrait to landscape to make the paper lay flat instead of uh, upright um, and now the margins to get the sizing right, you're going to want to do an inch and a half on the left, an inch and a half on the right, and one inch on the top and the bottom. And hit OK. And there's our margins and our um, paper rotated there on its side. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, Insert Table. And you want to make it... Um, four columns and two rows and uh, hit OK and here's your table and then you're going to want to go to edit select all and once you've selected it all uh, right click inside the table and you get this dialog and go down to row and click on height and change the height here to 3.24 and uncheck fit to size and say OK and there's our tract uh, laid out now the way I make the tract you can actually get two tracks from a single sheet of paper if you print on both sides and also printing on both sides makes the track a lot thinner so we're gonna want to do this twice so now well since it's actually highlighted we can just right click on it and we can say copy and they can go down to the next page here and click left click to get our cursor down here and right click here and say paste and you'll notice it splits it into two pages so you have to scroll back up to the second page here and you have to take out this line here just get your cursor there and hit the delete button on your keyboard and that brings the table back up and it's gonna have a third page it's blank just leave it alone just I, I, you can't get it off of there, so just leave it. Okay, next, um, I like to go to 
uh, right click in the first table and say uh, t uh, right click and say table and you're going to want to change these margins under the border tab um, change this I do mine a tenth of an inch and say OK and then the same thing on this table I'll come down and right click say table in the borders tab and I'll change the spacing to a tenth of an inch all the way around and what that does is that sets the margins in each individual square so that the cursor isn't right on the lines and then next you just need to type in uh, whatever you want to say in your tract um, for reference um, all of the text in my tract is Times New Roman and the font size is 9 um, that's because I wanted a lot of t uh, scripture and a lot of words if you just want a more simple tract you could make a larger font size you're not going to get as much information on the track though um, so that's pretty much it for making it now printing the tract is a whole other thing um, to get it to be double sided and when you cut it out um, to make that work the numbering has to be kind of weird so I have another document here that will show you how to number uh, your tracks. So the track will have eight pages and these are the page numbers that you're going to want to make. So it might not make much sense here but basically this would be page one and you have it on there twice because you can get two tracks per sheet of paper. So sheet one or page one of the track would be here this would be page eight or the last page of the track. So you have page 8, 1, 4, and 5, two times on this sheet, and page 6, 3, 2, and 7, two times on this sheet. And I'll open up my track just to show you how that works, in case you're confused. So here's my track. So if I go up to the top here, zoom out a little. So this was page 1, and if you look on the numbers, um, you can see that's page 1 and that's page 8. So that's page 1, that's the front page, and that's page 8, the last page. And if you follow this format, you can print just this first page and then insert the paper back in the printer upside down or backwards and then print the second page and it'll be double sided and all you have to do is trim off the edges of the paper and then cut in the middle on the top and the bottom and then all I did was just staple it together um, on the binding and it works pretty well so that's all I did to make the tract um, if anybody has any questions or anything in the comments um, I will try and answer them and I thank you for watching